your mama papa this is your girl queen e and you're rocking with dj Adam. he has another level of high life are you ready to turn up because i know the major key to success is to dance on your feet. let's go yeah. welcome back guys it's your girl evelyn Poomson, and i'm happy to have you guys once again thank you thank you <laughs> if this is your first time watching eve's eye I like you to do three things, okay? L S S, okay? Like, subscribe, and share, okay? <laughs> so yeah, um, right now I would like to a special announcement. I would say Eve's eye, but now I am now affiliated with three people now. So I would like to introduce two beautiful girls. They are dedicated. Let me introduce you to them. One is called Sandra, a queer Sandra. She's an organizer. She's also into beauty. I believe very soon she's gonna come out with a lot of stuff and I'm excited. Also, we have pageant queen slash artist, Vanessa Echampong. So now we are a uh, production. So whenever I do say interviews or whenever I do vlogs that concern events, they are going to be the production on behalf. I am basically one third of Eve's Eye production. So welcome us. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, and then next, I'll be posting my vlog very soon. It's gonna be posted on Friday, and it's gonna be my Elmina Castle. It's either two, it's, it's between one of them. It's between my Elmina Castle or Sex Appeal. So you guys leave a comment, which one do you want first? Elmina Castle, which is history, or sex appeal okay and then next I would like to um, shout out a lot of good videos out there especially when it comes to our songs I seen Bella T with her new gospel song and here's a clip of it girl keep doing your thing okay and then I seen Freeman, yes! He just came back from Ghana and he just dropped a hit. Here's the, a clip of it. It's Dr. Ray on the beat. Life will be easy, boys are back by Ghana. Freeman, we're impressed. And then we have a team that I've been watching, they're really, really good. Here's a sample of their song. I try to tell them, but they just don't understand me. Scrap gang, SG, that's us. Getting money off everything that I touch. You don't really want to pot in the bullets, we got enough. Stay alone. Yes, yeah, so that's the scrap team, and I've been supporting them because they're really dedicated and they're consistent, and that's exactly what we need in the GTA. So I'll put each one's link in the bio. You could support. Honestly, it's always good to support because you never know. So yeah. This is the part that I have to like get a little bit, you know, comfortable. So last week I posted a video which was the Stoneboy event and there was a little controversy that was going on. The organizers of the Stoneboy concert contacted me and I decided to take the chance and hear what they have to say from their end. Yes, we were all saying our part of the story, I was saying my part of the story, you know, but what really went down and that's why today this video is going to be a version of their side. So help me introduce the organizers of Stone Boy. Welcome Council. back to Eve's Eye. I am your host, Evelyn Kumsen. So today I'm sitting down with Kofi Mongo, <laughs> UAMG. Mm -hmm. So UAMG. What is UAMG? Uh, it stands for Urban Africa Media Group. Mm -hmm. Um, we are a promotional company, as a lot of people like to label us. I hate that word. <laughs> I hate the word promoter. Why? Okay? Why? Why? <laughs> we call it more like, I don't promote anything. I put on events. I'm okay. an event producer. I'm an entertainer. Entertainer. And there's a lot more professional words than... What do you say a promoter is? If you like, like somebody standing on the side, somewhere holding flyers and signs saying, come into my shop. <laughs> You know? Oh my goodness. Okay, so Kofi Bobo. Yes. How old are you? I'm an 80s baby. Okay. 
Yeah. Fair enough. Yes. So 80s babies. So Mr. 80s babies, how long have you been doing this promotion for? Or let me say entertaining? Um quite a bit. Okay. A couple years. Um about going through so about eight years. Okay. I'll say all together on and off. Mm-hmm. I'm um, in and out. Um, in and out? Yeah. Are you a team? I got a team that I work with, superb team. Nice. Um, very, nice. Very, 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 very good. Everybody goes a hundred percent. We like that. Yeah. We do our best to, you know, make sure that people enjoy themselves, right? Nice. Through the events we do. Nice. So, um, let's get to the um, organizing and everything. Which, what, what, what are some of the um, events you have organized? Um, in the past, mm-hmm. uh, we worked with, uh, we've done Ghana Independence a couple of times with uh, Afro Entertainment and Ghana mm-hmm. House. Um, we've done, we worked with my J, we did, um, the All White. This second day last year with Africa and I was again. Ooh, that big event. Crazy. Ooh, massive. Everybody that was there knows what happened. Yes, 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 yes. I wasn't there, but I heard. Um, we, uh, we done. We did a Lil Wayne and an Acrobato show. <laughs> Funny guys was a very nice show. Okay. Different from what we normally do with yes. the performances. Mm-hmm. Um, Ghana meets Nigeria with mm-hmm. you know TGB. Another great guys that I also work with. Nice. Um, I did Michelle premiere with Blessing and Ghana Links. Okay. We, 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 You've done a lot. That's yeah, really good. Yeah, just like to stay low key. Low key. Yeah, low okay. Key. Right. Oh, sorry for touching your. Um, wow, oh. I like what you're wearing. Uh, uh, fresh. Uh, fresh. Fresh from Bitcha God. Ah, fresh or Shanti B. Wow. Yeah, my friend. Me my back. Me my back. My friend Nana and Nana I want to see. No, I see. Okay. Yeah, when he came in for the show, so and he brought this. Up, he brought this for you. Yeah, every that's time he comes sweetheart. up, that's Nana. Nana will always have something in his bag. You never know what he pulls out, like Santa Claus. Santa you know, Claus. Kobe, like, I got something for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love that guy, though, man. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. nice yeah, this is some Ashanti beads. You know, they got mm-hmm. some pretty mm-hmm. um, tight stuff. You know. So. Okay, so we should link them up. Yeah, we'll put the link in the bio. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, so Mr. Kofi Mobile, um. So we're gonna go to the topic of events. Yeah. So the current event was Stoneboy. Why did you bring? Why did you decide to bring Stoneboy for the second time? Why didn't Why didn't I bring Stoneboy? Okay. No, okay. Sam, Sam. <laughs> why? So, so I think you know what? Out of he's an artist that defied a lot of you know things that people thought was gonna be. Music wise, the man, every song he dropped was mm-hmm. a hit. Definitely. BET did that, you know, MTV. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was just more of, um, you know, people, his people ended up contacting, you know, us. Okay. Um, you know, brought up the idea of him coming back. Okay. Which we were, in, we were skeptical in the beginning because we were trying to work on another artist. Mm-hmm. But after doing some research and finding out that this guy is going high, higher, right? So, like his songs. Said mm-hmm. so, we, we, we know we, we, we made an offer, mm-hmm. we ended up taking it, mm-hmm. um, and in the next, one there's one now. Okay, so before I get to a very big, massive question, how has the African community been when it comes to organizing events? It's been it's fun, like, okay. Let me, I'm gonna be very honest, with okay. You. Okay, if, if, if anybody out there thinking that African promoters are making this big money and all this stuff. We ain't. Okay. You know, it gets very difficult because it's our crowd wants this. Okay. But they wanna pay this. Okay. Right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So if you do events at a club, okay. There's a certain crowd that will come. come. They will say, I don't like going to clubs. Right? And then you got religious factors in it. I know no, you know. Then you got your you're competing with outdoorings and weddings mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right so i feel like mm-hmm. the people because you need the numbers right. in order for you to generate enough income, income yeah. to put together another show mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so to people they might think that or oh, even if i don't go mm-hmm. it's not be all right but a, a common banquet hall event with just djs and music you're not you know, it's not going to cost anything less than ten thousand dollars for just a regular party you're bringing an artist you're talking about artist food hotels Life, it's a food, it's a lot of money. Ground transportation, it's a lot of sometimes money. little extra perks, you know. That mm. you know, it just wow. An average concert is about like twenty thousand dollars minimum to hold to, to do it. So 
Okay, so I understand it's an average of $20,000. What are you going to do to convince me to leave that adore, yes. to leave that wedding that is for free to yes. come to your event? What are you going to do? Just, you know, you have a choice as, okay. as a person coming out. Mm -hmm. But just, um, I think, you know, people are putting on a lot of great events nowadays. Okay. Like, as you've noticed within the Ghana community, mm -hmm. every promoter is trying to step up their the game. game. Okay. Um, because you can't compete, like I said, with the, with the free stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think there's certain things that just, there's a system that needs to be in place. Correct. Which might allow people to feel more confident in promoters. Mm -hmm. You know, promoters, we do mm -hmm. need to step up our game. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, too, we need the people that's coming out to support us more. Okay, so how can we support you African entertainers? Just believe in what we're doing. Like, it might not even just show up. Show Stop up. asking for free tickets. <laughs> like, Elaborate. Like you, 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 like, you be doing like you be doing a party, <laughs> and a person might come up. Oh, I just did. Not even. <laughs> I'm holding his bag, uh, the DJ's bag. I'm part of the sound crew. I need to get him for free. So you're doing a party. Like I said, you're spending so much money. You're gonna let at least fifty to about eighty people in, in for free. For free. You're talking about friends. And people won't actually come unless they're coming in for free. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing it at a banquet hall, mm -hmm. why not? I might. You might. In the club, they, the owner ain't spitting no liquor with me. You're, they're not, for so sure. So if I give out 100 free tickets, you're losing. I'm losing a lot of money. So you're basically telling us we need to support you by paying. Yes. Okay, so when we pay, what are we going to get out of it? You might get a, an, an awesome time because okay. if, if, if the thing is, mm -hmm. we're not saying get up and say take a paycheck, I'm gonna go and mm -hmm. blow down this event. No, it's a system, right? Okay. The more people that come out, like if you look at places like the UK or even the States, yes. if I know that I'm doing an event mm -hmm. and I know for sure a thousand people is gonna be there, 1300 people is gonna be there, mm -hmm. it's easier for me to negotiate with the artist. I can guarantee you that. You're gonna get your flip. Um, even if because you're taking a pay cut, mm -hmm. the show is gonna be massive. Okay. Every promoter that does event mm -hmm. does not know how it's gonna go until about 12 o'clock the night. Speaking event. of that, we'll be right back and I'm gonna show you a little clip of what happened last week. <sighs> for coming out Thank and you. it just shows that you love these people we do you we do appreciate everyone. you do Every much love so without further ado I'm gonna ask you the question that me those watching and everyone wants to know what happened at the stone boy concert it was a it was a lot a, okay. a, a lot that take happened. it take the wheel take the wheel right. I'd like to apologize to everybody for um, experiencing that chaos um, the night off for the Stone Boy show. Um, it wasn't our intention at all, but regardless, we did produce the event. Um, I was leading my guys to make sure that everything was smooth and it didn't go the way that it was. Um, and it didn't give people that experience that they were hoping for. And I, we do hold 100%. Um, I am accountable for it. And we're trying to do our best to make sure that this same mistake does not happen again. By making sure that we do more research into the venue that we're using, um, in terms of especially for making sure mm -hmm. that they're in good standing with the, with the alcohol board, and making sure that we're well prepared, and making sure that my staff is on um, point. Okay. Right. So, um, what well, like I can say, we, we're very, very sorry, mm -hmm. and you know, we, we're asking everybody to you know keep supporting us. It was a mistake. You know, it's, it's something that we're gonna try our best to make sure that it doesn't repeat itself. So thank you so much Kofi Mogo. I respect the fact that you came out 
to show these people so much love. Mm -hmm. And I believe we love them, right? Like yes. they are. We, we do this for them, right? Yes. So, yes. 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 Definitely. Um, I felt like they, they mm -hmm. needed to sort of Hear it. Um, get get mm -hmm. that in. Um, I'm happy you didn't run through the situation. No, I'm definitely. So happy. Definitely. And you know what, guys? Kofi Mogo came out to me. I didn't go to Kofi Mogo, and I respect that. So I want to pinpoint it. Um, Kofi Mogo, can you tell us about the next event? And we are bringing? We got, we got the, the heavyweight right now Ooh. coming in, right? Um, another BET award winner. Yes. We wanted to make this a BET special. Special, year. okay. Right, um, we bring so soccer game. Hey, open it for One time. Ooh. One time. We have seen time. open it for a day for a long now. Oh, it's a crazy performer. But <laughs> we got, we got, like, I think when people come out, like, it, 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 it's, it's going to be a show that we're expecting hard. Is that, the thing is, is a hint though, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's not just him. Okay, wait, let me show a recent Sakodia video. We'll be right back. I think you guys don't understand one thing, you know. I'm just trying to be myself. I just want to stay original. I spit in my own language. People think I'm limited. <laughs> I don't believe that. I'm heading straight to the Grammys. Take it or leave it. It's a bit it. Let go. Huh? <laughs> so yeah, after seeing that Sakura video, you know he's bringing fire. So, Kofi Moko, my man Taco got crazy. Small one. What were the police doing at the venue? <laughs> The police showed up. Okay. Uh, we're still trying to figure out who called the police. Um, but they came. Mm -hmm. They asked to see they, they asked to talk to me. Mm -hmm. I explained to them the situation what happened. Mm -hmm. And they felt like we were not in the wrong. Okay. We made it the decision that was made mm -hmm. was as a result of certain information that the venue did not disclose to us. So okay. Spoke to the officer. Mm -hmm. Like you never see it where police will come and the party still happens. Yes, yes. Stone yes. boy, very humble guy. Thank you. Besides, he wasn't gonna leave. He said, "I'm gonna stay" because he's like, "Yo, people are coming to me, yeah. like apologizing." So yeah. he was down. So really, he was down. So now the main thing was the lady's just she's just bugging. That's my word. She's just bugging. But police officer came, spoke to me, spoke to the lady. Mm -hmm actually explain to the lady that mm -hmm. you know that mm -hmm. this, this, this. And then um, they just said, you know what? How much time did you guys lose? He said about an hour and a half. They said, party till 4.30 in the morning. That's where I got excited in the video of like hey, hey, yes. excited. So to everybody that like, yeah. keeps thinking mm -hmm. that you know what we broke the rule or anything like that, we didn't. It okay. Was a, was a situation that happened that was out of our control. Okay. The officers came, they mm -hmm. realized it, and they let the party happen. Happen. Okay. So we won't have we won't have no coty, no four one six nine five. Oh two. Um, 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 they work they're working. Door. Okay, yes, okay, they're okay. Working, okay, no um, problem. Or they're not arresting anybody. Okay. okay, okay. So, um, before we get started, um, before we um end up the interview, uh, I will tell you a little secret. Mm -hmm. You said you're gonna bring someone for the loyal fans. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, right now we're just we're talking to um the Stone Boy um and his management mm -hmm. as well as the agent that we work with, Boogie Don Nima. Okay. Um, lay stuff. Mm -hmm. um, we wanted to sort of um, do a, a second show. Okay. Right. So far, we we're doing one in Montreal. There's a lot of people from Montreal came down. Yes, they did. Right. We're just trying to work out the details in terms of the Toronto okay. um, appearance, like trying to get. A I don't party. want him to say too much. When he yeah. updates me and gives me the full details, stay tuned. We just stay tuned. Simple, right? right. <laughs> okay. All right. So before we end off, Kofi Mogo, um, who um, else do you plan on bringing? Who else? Besides Takori, eh? Who else yeah. do you plan on bringing? We got a lot of a lot of artists right now. Okay. I don't really want to get too much into names until okay. we get things secured. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to disappoint anybody, you know. Oh, so I respect you. Just <laughs> keep an eye out, you know, on Eve's eye. Yes. Stay tuned to our our Facebook. Hey. U A M G Live, and mm -hmm. you know we'll keep you updated with who we got coming up after that. But we got some fire shows coming up for this year, leading all the way to summer. Next year, summer, I think we have all our shows 
like that to confirm. We're just waiting for certain paperwork and stuff mm -hmm. like that to come through. So okay. Yeah. It was nice having you on Eve's eye. You're an amazing, I'm humble watching. person. Life will be easy, boys. <laughs> 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 No one is born to be poor, eh, yeah, yeah, didn't push it, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go